This is the shape of things to come. Chips inside these bottles are controlling the production process, dictating what kind of liquid soap the containers are filled with and what kind of cap is attached. The German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence in Kaiserslautern is testing the production methods of tomorrow. The next bottle is being filled with yellow soap and getting a black screw top. Variety, after all, is the spice of life. Customers want to buy an ever greater variety of products. That means the lifespans of products are being dramatically reduced. And industry has to be able to respond to that. It can only do so by constructing systems that are considerably more flexible than they were in the past. At Fortis, a research institute in Munich, August Wilhelm Scheer is already one step further along. In this mini-production line, objects and machinery can communicate with each other via innovative software. Programs like these will enable the creation of smart factories. Industry 4.0. Everything is interlinked. Machines communicate with products, products communicate with products, suppliers and distributors communicate with one another. Everything is networked via the Internet. Hello, how are you? Hello, nice to see you. May I have a bottle of water? Here is your drink. At the research center, they're striving to make robots more user-friendly. In the future, man and machines will work together more closely. The trick is to keep communication simple. Oh, thank you. Perfect. In the service sector and logistics, we're pretty close to it. In Industry 4.0, we can also imagine that human activities and activities performed by robots can be more closely intertwined, for example, when loading certain vehicles. In Kaiserslautern, they're also researching the interaction of humans and machines. Simple manual tasks will also exist in the future. But software will show employees what tasks they have to perform. People will still be needed when fragile components are involved, for example. We believe that certain products will no longer be mass-produced in the future, but that the increasing variety of products will mean there will also be small and medium-sized production runs. And automation cannot help here. We need people who will carry out these tasks manually. Specialists with good software skills will also be needed to oversee mass production. Whole new professions will be created. Factories will continue to need people in the future. There'll still be enough work left, more specialized work, which will have to be done by human beings. Computers can't run on their own, and machines can't run on their own. They have to be designed, they have to be developed. We'll be more involved in the service sector, in industry and in more specialized activities. Research and development will become increasingly important. In the world of Industry 4.0, customers will be able to get their products in every conceivable shape and color. Smart methods will make it possible for tiny production runs. This is how Germany plans to remain competitive in the decades to come.